All right, hello and welcome to Image Function. My name's Jeff, I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. In this short video, we're gonna talk about how to use the image function to create something like this. Okay, pretty cool. All right, excellent. Now, before we jump to the Excel mechanics, I do wanna zoom out for a moment. Now, we've been able to insert images or pictures into Excel for literally decades. And historically, when we insert an image, it inserts above the grid or above the cells in the drawing layer of the worksheet. And then we can click and drag to move the image around. We can resize it as necessary. And that has worked well, and it will continue to work very well in most situations. However, with the introduction of the image function, we now have a new option. And what we can do is insert a picture directly into a cell via a formula that uses the image function. And what that means is that we can specify the arguments for that function dynamically based on calculations, based on formulas, based on cell conditions, or overall worksheet conditions. So this opens up many interesting possibilities. All right, let's flip over to Excel. Now currently the image function supports retrieving files through a URL that's an HTTPS URL. So that just means it can retrieve files stored on the internet. So for this illustration, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Unsplash. It's one of my favorite royalty-free stock image sites. If you haven't checked it out, definitely check it out. Thanks Unsplash for all you do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cruise down here. I'm gonna find a picture that I like and I'm just going to right click it and I'm gonna say copy image address. I'm gonna head back over to Excel and I'm just gonna paste that whole URL into a cell. Let's go get our R8. So I'm gonna select that, right click, copy image address. Let's head back over to here and paste it. And let's go get a Ford Mustang, All right? Select the image, right click, copy image address, head back to Excel and paste it. Now we just need to retrieve the photo that's at that location. And we do that with the image function. And there are several arguments to the image function. The first one is the source. So we just point it to the cell that we wanna retrieve the value from. We close the function and hit enter. And as you can see, the table's filled that formula down for us, and it has retrieved the images from each of those locations. Now I do wanna point out that there's some additional optional arguments. For example, we can specify an alternative text. We can specify some sizing options, um, fit cell, fill cell, original size, custom size. If we do custom size, we can do some height and width settings as well. In this case, we're just gonna go with the default and hit okay. Now let's say we want to retrieve this image over here. Well, let me delete that. And here we have a couple of options. The first option is to retrieve the image from another cell. The second option is to use the image function again and then look up this file path based on the selected model. So let's first try to pull this picture preview. And as you note here, this sizing option is zero, which is the default. Um, I could do one, fill the cell, and that just looks a little funny in this environment. So I'm gonna set this back to zero, or the default is also zero. Now just make a mental note of that for a minute, and now let's cruise back over here. All right, so the first option is we're just gonna go and retrieve this image. So we can use your favorite lookup function, whether that's VLOOKUP, index match, like XLOOKUP, filter, you name it. In this case, we're gonna use XLOOKUP. So we're gonna ask XLOOKUP to go find this over in the table one model column and to return the table one picture preview column. Close the function and enter, and it pulls it back. So we have Camaro, that looks good. We have Mustang, that looks good. It doesn't show the full, it doesn't fill the full cell. And then we can choose um, R8. So, so that's the first option, is we just use XLOOKUP or your lookup function to pull the actual image cell. But in this case, I have a sizing option here that works in this context, right, the, the fit cell. But over here, I really want the fill cell option. So another option is to ask XLOOKUP to, instead of returning the picture, return the file path. Okay, and if I hit enter for now, it's just gonna show the file path. And then what I can do is I can ask the image function to use whatever the XLOOKUP function returns as its source. And then I can specify a sizing option that works for me here, enter. And so now we've used XLOOKUP to retrieve the file path, and then we've used the image function to convert that file path into an image. And now when we select it, it uses the fill or sizing option that we've selected here. 
Hey, if you use Excel a lot, be sure to check out the seven time hacks video. It's a collection of seven time-saving techniques that every Excel user should know. And this is an illustration of how to use the image function to insert an image into a cell. And as you can see, this opens up many new and very interesting possibilities. Hey, hopefully this helped. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.